हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो फ्रॉम नाउ वी आर गेटिंग अवर टेक्स्ट विच इज रिमूव फ्रॉम पैडिंग सो वी आर गेटिंग अवर रिमूव पैड टेक्स्ट नाउ वट वी हैव टू डू आफ्टर दैट सो सिंपल एज दैट लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अवर एक्चुअल डेटा एंड द कोड्स दैट वी जनरेट we have to check for each code we have to check that the zero if zero is present in our dictionary so we have to first of all we have to create a reverse dictionary why the reverse dictionary because here we are using key as code and value as character so first of all we have to create this reverse dictionary so that we can decode it how we can decode it so first of all we are checking zero if zero is present it no the zero is not present in it then we are uh, work for with one zero one if zero one is there then i am create converting this zero one into the a and then again working from zero okay and then again i am checking is zero is there no is zero zero is there yes which is c again i am converting this zero zero to c and don't think that uh, any of the code is uh, is uh, uh, is similar to someone because the the hoffman coding uses the prefix free code which actually means that no to code is uh, uh, no to code have same prefix same prefix like that that we have a code zero one no other code have a prefix that no other code starting from zero one so you don't have to think about that that the two codes having the same code sorry that two character having same code it is not like that it is prefix free code okay so don't think about this so first of all we have to create that reverse code dictionary how we can do that it is very easy how we can do that let's see so as you know uh, in our code creation function where it is it is a uh, build binary okay it is there you see what we are doing so far we are having we are having a we have a dictionary code and in that we are using the root dot value which is actually our character as key and current bits as value but what we are wanting we are wanting current bits as key and root dot value as value so for that we are creating another dictionary which is a reverse code dictionary let's create it reverse code and we simply go there we are passing here current bits equal to the root dot value that is good now we have to create a new function for decoder text so what we are doing so far so after doing that we are getting our uh, when we are doing this okay so what i am saying i have create a new function for decoder text so after decoded we are getting our actual text so we are creating a function which is self dot decoded text and i am passing this whole string there now let's code it uh the code text and in that decoder text i am passing the self and i'm passing uh, our text we can say okay so we are having it so now i am creating two string the one string uh, which stores our actual text and another string uh, which is used to iterate that data like 0 1 
and then check it in that dictionary okay you get that when i call it so this is current bits which is an empty string and i'm using another string empty string which is our decoded text which takes our output and then we are uh, move to each character in our text and we are append that character in our current bits and after doing this we are checking if this current bits in our sorry uh, what it is our dictionary name is reverse code something like that let's copy so that there is no chance of mistake So we have our reverse code and we are checking in it. If it is in there, so what we have to do, we have to append decoder text plus equal to what we have to append. We have to append the value and the value is actually the character. So we have to write self dot this reverse code and we have to pass that current bits i hope it is clear to you this is a simple uh, use of dictionary okay so i am then decoded text and like when 0 1 is decoded into a the current bits we don't have to think about the previous 0 1 we have to think about next so it means when we are decode one thing we have to again make our current bits to be empty and we have to sorry we have to again work on it and that is good and at last we have to return our decoded text so this decoded text is nothing but our actual data so we are getting our actual text here and we have to output dot write the output file that we are creating there we have to write here the actual text and we have to return this output path return output path so now we are completing our whole code for the hoffman coding in the next video we are testing our final code is it really works or not and if there is any error uh, let's find that error let's work on that error and then think about it hope you enjoyed that project thank you friends bye bye